Palm oil is one of the most widely produced edible oils. It is for instance used in everyday products, such as biscuits, ice cream, chocolate, margarine, crisps and also soap and cosmetics. Increasingly, palm oil is used as a biofuel feedstock. But there is one big problem. In looking for areas to rapidly establish vast plantations, peat swamp forests in Southeast Asia are often cleared for production. These swamps are too wet for the palms to grow on, so deep canals are dug in order to drain the peat soils. You have to dig a huge canal networks in that ecosystem. This means you, you, you directly and indirectly already destroy the peat swamp ecosystem itself. And second thing, you already start to emit CO2 uh, emission. Peatlands are the world's largest carbon stores. Over thousands of years, organic peat soils were formed by layers of dead plant materials in acid water without oxygen. This is what happens when peatlands are drained. When an area is drained, the water table will drop. Now, the formerly wet peat will be exposed to the open air. As a result, the peat starts to decompose. Organic carbon becomes carbon dioxide. This results in subsidence of the soil, with as much as 8 cm per year and a release of large amounts of CO2. Through this kind of drainage system, you create or you make the peat soil become drier and drier, something like that. That also that uh, can cause uh, easy fire, and if peatland fire happen, that means you start emit huge CO2 emission to the atmosphere. Wildfires in and around drained areas worsen the loss of the now very fire-prone peat soil. In the end, the area will subside till the water level of rivers or sea, creating worthless wastelands. So far in Indonesia, 1.5 million hectares of peatlands have been turned into palm oil plantations. This amounts to a quarter of the total Indonesian palm oil production. In Malaysia, about 15% of its plantations are on peatland. Together, these plantations emit 200 million tons carbon dioxide per year. This by itself is twice the amount of all fossil fuel emissions of Indonesia. My opinion is should be stopped the palm oil in the peatland area because it many impact to the environmental, not only for the local, but also for global environment. Both Indonesia and Malaysia are planning to double their palm oil production. More than half of these new plantations will be established on peat. The scale of oil palm plantation in the peat swamp ecosystem is at uh, alarming rates at the moment. The solution is to remove all this uh, concession, all this permit from peat swamp ecosystem to the outside of it. Wetlands International urges for a ban on palm oil from tropical peatlands. Sustainability criteria should exclude palm oil production from peatlands. Meanwhile, the management of existing plantations on peatlands should be improved. Water tables should be as high as possible. In the end, there is only one solution to lower these huge CO2 emissions and the subsidence of land areas. Palm oil production on peatlands should be ended. Degraded peatlands must be restored. <laughs>